Minions or Monsters? The new Amazon series The Rings of Power portrays orcs in a much different light than the iconic film trilogy. Keep watching to find out how faithful to the original text they really are. When you sit down to watch a live-action version of a J.R.R. Tolkien story, it's virtually guaranteed that you'll see folks like hobbits, elves, and dwarves over the course of the adventure. Likewise, at one point or another, there's going to be orcs. These twisted, brutal creatures oppose the protagonists of The Lord of the Rings on multiple occasions and make up the bulk of Sauron's and Saruman's armies in climactic battles. Peter Jackson's The Hobbit film trilogy even features prominent orc lords Azorg and Bolg. The orcs in the various movies are imposing and fearsome-looking, and they hiss, grunt, and roar exactly like you'd assume. However, in the grand scheme of things, the live-action orc groups we've seen so far are essentially just factions that happen to oppose the heroes because they serve the villain. And it's their literal job description to do so. Sure, as Boromir fatally finds out in The Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, particularly strong orcs like the Orc High have been known to achieve major victories. Still, by and large, orcs serve the same purpose as stormtroopers do in Star Wars movies. They're unsympathetic cannon fodder for the heroes to mow down by the dozen. That is, until Amazon Prime Videos critically acclaims The Lord of the Rings The Rings of Power turned up. The series doesn't take long to establish orcs as a true terror. And in doing so, the show finally makes them as horrifying as Tolkien intended. Every Tolkien-themed live-action project has managed to portray orcs as creepy creatures. However, The Rings of Power Episode 2 outright turns them into horror movie villains by leaning hard on their digging abilities, which Tolkien has noted rival the dwarves themselves. These orcs don't just look like slasher movie monsters either, they also play the part. They provide copious jump scares. They stalk terrified, hiding people. And as Branwyn and Theo find out firsthand, they're extremely hard to kill when you're not a powerful hero armed with rare and luxurious weaponry. Even well-equipped and trained elven warrior Orondia gets the scare of his lifetime as he flees the terrifying enemies. And then, just when he least expects it, several clawed hands emerge from the darkness and grab him from behind. It's horrifying stuff and a very good take on Tolkien's orcs. Out of all of the different beings in The Lord of the Rings, they might just be the most twisted, but they're still more or less cannon fodder in the movies, which is far from the unyielding monsters Tolkien wrote them as. The author wrote about orcs and their creator, Sauron's old boss Melkor, aka Morgoth, in The Fall of Gondolin. Their hearts were of granite and their bodies deformed, foul their faces which smiled not, but their laugh for that of the Clash of Metal, and to nothing were they more fain than to aid in the basis of the purposes of Melko. Now, which portrayal fits that description better? The unruly minions of the movies, or the ruthless stalking beasts in The Rings of Power Episode 2? According to an IGN article about The Rings of Power's orc game, the feral and terrifying version of orcs we see in the show is a very premeditated approach. Executive producer Lindsay Webber said, we spent a lot of time talking about what it would mean to be an orc in the Second Age. It felt appropriate that their look would be different, part of a wilder, more raw Second Age Middle-earth, closer to where the First Age ends. As we meet them, they're not yet organized into armies. They're a little more scattered and they've been scavenging. Weber also teased that the show will feature all sorts of different orcs, including female ones. Interestingly, the unnerving effect of the show's orcs is so strong that even the actors were thrown off by them. As Lloyd Owen, who plays notable Numenorian Elendil in the show, told Metro, the orcs legitimately creeped him out on set. The actor said, You get a visceral reaction to it, which is rejection ultimately. I don't want to be around there. Based on what we've seen so far, it's difficult to imagine anyone wanting to be around the show's orcs for any amount of time. But from the looks of it, the people of Middle-earth might not have any other option.